Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here. As I was walking up the beach here just a minute or so ago, I saw this pen shell washed up on the beach. It just washed up, and I thought it might have been alive, but nope. It's an empty shell, an empty pen shell. Called a pen shell because supposedly when you hold it on its end, you know, like that, kind of resembles a writing pen, an old-fashioned writing pen, the pen shell. Anyway, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Beautiful morning here at Delnor Wiggins, North Naples, Florida. 62 degrees right now, 62 degrees here on the beach. Expecting today's high to be right up around 75 here in North Naples. The water has calmed down. Not much of a breeze. I said the wind is going to be coming off the Gulf. Right now I don't feel anything. It's pretty still. Beautiful. Welcome, welcome. Time to rise and shine. How is everybody doing today? Good morning, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you for that tip you sent yesterday. I appreciate that. Got some great people out here watching. sun is just coming up over the trees here, starting to pop up over the trees. A few clouds over there to the east. Good morning. How Wonderful. How about you? Good, good. I'm kind of walking along looking at the ground here. There's a few shells, but nothing much here this morning. Hey, if you didn't watch it, you got to go back there and watch that video with Barbara Grove. You're going to find out there's a lot more to Barbara Grove than just seashells. She is a wonderful person. Yesterday, she shared her mission there, her Mother's Clubs of Haiti project that she started 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago. Pretty interesting. Barbara Grove. It's 
It's been a while since I've seen a sandbar out here. We haven't had any of those extreme low tides lately. As, as usual, seeing lots of little fighting conks along the beach. Lots of little Florida fighting conch shells. All different sizes. Sizes and colors. The Florida fighting conch. Very common very popular, very popular shell with our visitors and residents. They are beautiful shells. I always say this probably winds up in the most suitcases when people go home. This is probably the most collected seashell in southwest Florida, the Florida fighting conch. You don't go far. You don't walk very far down the beach here without seeing one. <laughs> See? Each one's a little different. That other one, remember, was really dark. This one's lighter with some stripes. Hey, be sure to join our groups. Join my Southwest Florida television groups, my restaurant group, restaurants in Southwest Florida, and my Del Norwegian's Pass State group, Pass State Park group. Just click on the little tab there that says groups on the Southwest Florida television page here, and you'll see my groups pop up. Just started the restaurant group the other day, trying to get some restaurants involved in it. Good morning, Phil. How are you today? Yes, yes, yes. It is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful today. Any of my friends here in Southwest Florida, in Naples, in Southwest Florida, Naples, Bonita, Fort Myers, Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte. When you're out eating, try to get your favorite restaurant there to join my restaurant group. Show them the group there and tell them to just get in there, sign in as, join as their business. Join as their business page that they set up for the restaurant and they can put a post in there once a week. If they want to put a post for their weekly specials, which is a great idea, share your weekly specials as the ideal thing to throw in there. Or their entertainment lineup for the week. Let these local restaurants know about it. I'm just trying to help them out give them another opportunity to get their message out there and get their message to my friends I'm also thinking about starting another group for churches in southwest Florida so they can post their information I'm just running a bunch of scenarios about that through my mind trying to figure out how to monitor it
I don't want it to become a platform for preaching. I just want it to become be a platform to let people know they're here when their services are. What their philosophies are. So when I get that started, be sure to let your church know and get them in there. You guys will be the first to know when I set that group up. A little more wave action down here, down in area three. Oh, got an osprey right up here over us. Right up here. See if I can find him here. He's right up in the top of the tree to my left. Got to come down a little further. Ah, he just flew away. Darn it. He just... I just went to that tree there. Okay, he's out on the end branch there. I just moved down a little further south. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it. It is a gorgeous morning here, that's for sure. A beautiful morning. Hit that share button. Not many people here with us this morning. Here comes a pelican. One of our pelican friends. Here's the osprey over here to my left. Beautiful little birds, those ospreys. Not so little. Keeping an eye out there for breakfast. Look at that, holding on with one foot. Wow. Up. Oh. That's a little branch for that big bird. Boy, he's looking. He is looking out there for a fish. Puppy Day, National Puppy Day, that's cool. Adopt a puppy. Yep, looking for breakfast, that's for sure. That's what he's doing, he or she. I don't know if there's a way to distinguish the male from the female easily. Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Two things. There are some different ways people put like wood in different designs. In the water? No, on the shore there. Huh. Weird. And then somebody's doing like a ballet video down there. Oh, really? Ballet, ballet on the beach. This That's interesting. Is it a class or you think they're just doing a... No, she's doing some kind of video. Interesting. She's doing all the poses. Beach ballet. We'll have to go spy on them. Beach ballet. I'll have to go see that. That's funny. <laughs> Beach ballet. Somebody's down here. I here. I thought, oh, good. right here. Yeah. Beach ballet. This will be a first. Wow. <laughs> Beach ballet, how cool. That was Nana I was talking to, Cynthia. She said,
said there was somebody out in the water doing ballet. And she said there was a whole bunch of wood piled up on the beach. I don't know what that's about. Good morning, Helen. Kathy, good morning. That osprey took off. Went out on a hunting mission. So we're down in area two now. I guess this is what Nana was talking about. The driftwood, the palm fronds. Somebody was making a statement here. We couldn't clean up. That was their statement. Their statement was they couldn't put the beach back the way they found it. Well, so far, no red tide. I haven't smelled any red tide. Thank goodness. Waiting for that sun to come up over the trees so we can get a good look at the water. See if it's starting to clear up. It's been kind of cloudy the past, oh, four or five days. A couple days ago, we were getting a couple whiffs of the red tide as I was walking along. So Roy is going out for pizza tonight with the boys. The boys and Jennifer Ann, some of his guy friends, and Jennifer Ann's gonna pick them up and take them up there and hang out with them. It's just a block away from the house. He goes up to Leone's Pizza on 95th Avenue up in North Naples on 41. Sun should be starting to hit the beach. When I turn around, start walking north here. I'm gonna—I don't know how far down I'm gonna go here. These are the kind of waves I like. They're not too big. They're not really causing 
any erosion on the beach. They're just playing music for us. The little symphony of the waves. There's a little patch of sunlight here coming through the trees and the water's still kind of cloudy still churned up don't smell a red tide though not getting any whiffs of that red tide we'll see what it's like up at the north end sometimes up at the north end is where it gets a little strong sometimes i don't know what it is it's the shape of the beach out there or what up there that the currents of the pass i don't know but that just kind of seems like the place that we see the red tide is up there morning i never saw that before there's a camera right there see you go right around Well, we are in area one. We've just passed the boardwalk at the first entrance from the parking lot in area one. If you're familiar with the park, you know right where I'm at. It is gorgeous out here. Hardly any clouds, a couple little clouds up to the north. There's some clouds to the east behind the trees. Can't see them right now, but other than that, a few little clouds down to the south, mostly blue sky all around this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. All we need are some dolphins now. Come on guys. Pretty flat out there. I don't know where they're hiding. I don't know where those dolphins are hiding. I have not really seen any of my little favorite shells this morning. There's a lot of little shells pushed up onto the shore here, but some little jewel box shells, lots of slipper shells, as always, lots of slipper shells down here. Looking for some little babies. Little baby shells. Nothing jumping out at me here though this morning.
Nothing jumping out, including dolphins. Boy, it's wonderful. You get out in the sun and it, it feels great. You can really feel a difference when you're between the shade and being out in the sun here. It's amazing the difference. You can see the streaks of sunlight hitting the beach down here. Vanderbilt Beach down here with its condos. Good morning. Boy, beautiful looking up to the north this morning. Great view up to Fort Myers Beach all the way from, from all the way down here. Look at that. Great view of Fort Myers Beach there. This right here, right in there, that's Fort Myers Beach. The Pink Shell Resort, that's that building over on the left, just behind that boat going out. Pretty cool, huh? Seems really far away when you drive up there from here just because it's such a small road slow speed limit but when you see it here it doesn't look that far away <laughs> hey thank you for the stars i appreciate that if you appreciate what i do here there's a couple ways you can support me, Southwest Florida Television. This is one of the things I do to earn some income as these live feeds in the morning and keep this page going here and share some of my photos and videos with you. So if you like what you see here and you'd like to show your financial support, you can send stars. You can see the stars up there in the left corner. I get a penny for each star, so I got $2 this morning in stars. Or either if you look in the description of this post, there's a link to my PayPal account. If you'd like to send a little tip, a little thank you. That's the stars. Facebook takes a lot of money out of those stars, as you will see. Whereas if you use that PayPal link, PayPal just takes a tiny, tiny percent. I think it's about two and a half percent, three percent of whatever you send me. And actually, if you send it directly to Rob using that link, there is no fee. But if you send it to Southwest Florida Television, there's a little fee. So thank you, those of you that do that. We're just about out of the park. Just about. Pretty much down to the very southern end of the park. And as when I come around, you're gonna see there's been a bit of erosion down here, a bit of erosion. You can 
see this little ledge over here. If you've been following along, you know it's been kind of rough here over the past week. So there's a couple spots along the beach that have washed away. Nothing too serious. If you're a frequent visitor to this park, you know this beach comes and goes. The sand just gets redistributed. <laughs> Moved around from one part of the park to another. It's pretty amazing how Mother Nature works. I love it. There's about a mile of beach here, a mile of shoreline. It all depends on the tide, high tide or low tide. More, more beach during low tide, obviously. But no houses, no condos. Just unspoiled natural beauty here. They don't do a whole lot here to I mean, they maintain, you know, the benches, the boardwalks, the bathrooms, you know, the facilities here, but they kind of let Mother Nature take control of the beach here. The only thing they'll pick up here, they'll pick trash up, unfortunately. The rangers and volunteers pick up the trash and any obstacles, any hazards on the beach. The big tree was to fall over. Other than that, they leave the beach alone. beautiful beautiful park Florida is blessed with many many beautiful state parks one of the nice things about our state parks is you can buy a pass just like you can for our national parks you can buy a pass an annual pass get an individual or family pass and that allows you to get into any Florida State Park, anywhere in the state, for a year. It's well worth the money if, if you're going to visit half a dozen parks. Most, a lot of people, when they come to Naples, they're here at Del Nor Wiggins every day. So those annual passes are a good deal versus paying six bucks to drive in. I think they're around 100, 100, and, 100 and something dollars, not much over 100, I think, for an annual pass, family pass. And we're on Vanderbilt Beach now. I don't know what the water temperature is. Last time I checked, I keep forgetting to check, it was 74. I don't know, four or five days ago when I last looked. I think that's the average temperature in southwest Florida. You can see that erosion all the way down here. The tide is slowly going out.
Hey, if you're just joining us, we're in North Naples, Florida. I am on Vanderbilt Beach right now, at the very north end of Vanderbilt Beach, just south of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. I'm gonna be turning around here pretty soon and heading back into the park. Whatever happened to our little friend there? What was it, Miss Lily? That little white poodle that we used to see when I was walking on Vanderbilt Beach when the park was closed. Good morning. Great. How about you? There you go. Hey, if you haven't done it already, after the live feed or before you leave this morning, click on my groups. Look for the little tab here on the page, the group tab. Click on that. Join my two groups that I've got going here. Southwest Florida, the restaurants in Southwest Florida group and the Del Norwegian's Pass State Park group. If you got some favorite restaurants you hang out with here, some local eating establishments in Southwest Florida, Marco Island, anywhere in Southwest Florida, Marco, East Naples, Naples, Bonita, Estero, Cape Coral, Fort Myers Beach, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, wherever you live here, if when you're in there, if you know the manager, if you're friends with the manager, Tell them to join my restaurant group. It's just another great way to get their message out. Give them one more place to post on Facebook. The more, the more places you put your message, the more people that are going to see it. And I'd really like to see them post their specials, maybe weekly specials or whatnot. Well, I think I'm going to turn around and start heading back up the beach. I'm in a walking, walking mood this morning. I feel like walking. I feel like walking. I feel like I could walk down to Clam Pass, but then I don't feel like I could walk back. <laughs> Pretty obvious where Del Norwegian's Pass State Park begins. Up where the condos end. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Hit that share button if you're enjoying our walk. Bye, George. I believe I see Dexter. 
I think I see Dexter. Off a lake. My goodness. Kind of late, isn't it? I was like, is that Dexter coming down here? <laughs> you didn't have your identifiers on. Oh, I know. Your I bright know. green shorts. <laughs> oh, man. You saw it up at the pass? I saw one up at the lake. Really? Uh huh. Right there, and then I saw one by area one. Really? Which way were they going? The one by area one was going south. Huh. And the one that up at the area four was going I did not see any yet. So, and one of the area four came in, in the street and it came in the Oh, wow. I but I Roy did, oh, we're, we, we probably weren't here yet. No, no, no yeah, we hadn't gotten was, here yet. Yeah. He, he may have gone past them. He was I here, we were here? I, I'm surprised I didn't see it. Yeah. Huh, so. darn it. <laughs> so everything He's good? Far south today. Yeah, I got lost this morning. I was just into walking. I'm like, I better turn around because I feel like I could walk down to Clam Pass. <laughs> but I, but I down here to that uh, three-story building. Right. That's, that's a large lot, man. I, I can walk down to Clam Pass, but I can't walk back. <laughs> I'll have to have one of those carts take me back from Pelican Bay. That's a long stretch of beach here. Nothing. If you walk from pass to pass, yeah. that's a nice. I, I don't know how far that is. What do you think it is from Wiggins Pass to it's Clam like Pass? Miles. Oh, I bet it's more than that. Uh, I bet, I bet you. Well, I know when I park there in uh, Vanderbilt Beach, uh -huh. I walk down to Clam Pass and back, that's two and a half. From Vanderbilt to Clam Pass? Yeah. From down there? From down there. So this is another there. two then miles. If you come up this way. What is this, a mile and three quarters? It might be, might be six miles. Yeah, it's a good walk. Yeah. That'd be a good walk. It's that walk back that would get me <laughs> even when i walked down there from vanderbilt it was like I, yeah, yeah I know, I i'd always go down there and then i the tide would would come in and i'd get stuck on the really soft sand walking back <laughs> and it yeah it almost kill me walking in that sand <laughs> it's, it's getting tough to walk today the yeah there's not much uh, no there's been a lot of erosion here over the past few days yeah, i was noticing true. that yeah so all right well, well you that new group yep yep yep, yep. You need to, all these restaurants you go to, yeah. if you know, if you got any clout with them, if you know the people, I'm trying to get the restaurants to join that group. I need, I need people in the group, you know, okay. to see the post, but what I'm, but I want the restaurants to join as their restaurant and then okay. put something in there once a week. Okay. And I'd really like to see them, like, put their weekly specials. Okay. I, I'd love it to be a place where people can just go and know, hey, yeah. this restaurant today, their special is, okay. this one. Yeah, because a lot of the restaurants I go to, I I bet they'd be willing to do that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cost them anything. No. I mean, it's just once, they just Good can do it once a week. Yeah, yeah, but it's just another way to get their word out. Now, they can do it more often if they want, <laughs> but that's not free. That's right. Right. But if they want to do it once, that's okay, great. Because sure. right, okay. I know you're the food critic here. <laughs> you are. And maybe, um, yeah, maybe we'll have, um, you can write, start writing some reviews and post them in there when you go out. That'd be neat. We'll, that'd be neat. Yeah. I'll, we'll come, we've got to come up with a title for you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we have Dexter's reviews in there. Okay, that's I mean, you get out a lot. <laughs> you and Robin are eating out a lot. <laughs> man, oh man, you you definitely support our local community. <laughs> you are. All right, thanks, Dexter. Yep. Hey, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Have Dexter write little reviews in there. That would be neat of the places he visits. Yeah, he'll probably start getting free meals if he does that. People want him to come out and eat there <laughs> to get a review.
boy, I think it's probably getting close to an hour here. I better end this live feed so I can share it on Instagram later. I'll start a new one up here momentarily. So stick around, I'll be back. Make sure you're set up to get notified when I go live again. Morning. If I don't see you later, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Share our mission of bringing people together one beach walk at a time. Those of you that are financial supporters, thank you very much. It's, you are the reason I am able to come out here and do these live feeds in the morning. Those of you that send the stars, that are monthly supporters, that send a little tip, a donation to my PayPal account now and then. If you guys didn't do that, I'd be somewhere in the mornings bagging groceries or something. <laughs> Who knows? But thank you. Anyway, stay tuned. I shall return. If I don't see you later, have a wonderful day. Tally ho, everyone. Tally ho. Stay safe and stay healthy. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.